When we were younger, she used to take a Dorito chip and lick it, lick the sauce, and then make me eat the tortilla. <laughs> What's going on everybody? We are in New York City right now. Welcome to another episode of Fung Bro's Food. One of the most requested cuisines we get to talk about is Korean food. But today we are going to be talking about everything beyond Sundabu. We are at Tofu Tofu. This is the only authentic Korean restaurant in New York's Chinatown. They are so nice to me every time I come in and they're so dope. But I could not show it off without some Korean friends. So please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Chani and Kenny. I'm a comic artist, teacher, and YouTuber in New York City. What's up? I'm Dubset. I'm a dancer and actor. I'm Juni. I'm a prospective physical therapist. And Here to try some brother. food. And, and, their bro and it's brother and sister. <laughs> so we're going to try some more advanced Korean food you've probably never heard of or you never tried. At Tofu Tofu, they have a really dope story. There is a 70-year-old grandmother in the kitchen who cooks everything. How do we say grandmother in Korean? Yeah. I am so ready to try out Korean cuisine beyond Sundabu. Let's, Let's go! go. Okay, so the side dishes are coming before any of the food is, and the side dishes at any Korean spot are called panchan. I want to explain it because I think for a lot of non-Korean people like myself, when you get the panchan, you just eat it, but you don't know what it is. You have these free dishes in front of you, and this is vital for how someone feels when they walk out of that door. It's kind of like the bread and butter and water of the restaurant. You sit down, and when they give that to you, if the bread is stale, you're going to be a little, like, you're going to question You're going to question yeah, everything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. It's actually exactly. kind of funny because sometimes you'll be so hungry, you sit down, you, you eat, eat the, the panchan, panchan, and then you ask for more, please. and then the food comes out, and, and you're, you're like, oh man, I'm already done. I'm right, right, right. You, you filled up on panchan. Yeah. Do you guys have a personal favorite for panchans? Mm, yes. Napa, at least for me. Mm. I, like, I like a little spice in my life. Mm. You know, very traditional kimchi. We all know what kimchi is. And it, huh. This one has been fermented. You could tell by the little bit of sour. How old? A little bit of time. Yeah, I'm talking about like. <laughs> Shut up. I'm talking about four days out the fridge. Wow. Chill it, chill it on the counter, all right? all right? This right here is kakdugi. Check out the sound. You ready? Yes. <laughs> Come through with the crunch. We got this keran team, which is steamed egg. It's actually really hard to make at home. Um, so this is just like an extra, like. Thank you, or a sign of hospitality. Okay, so Good should idea. we all get a uh, spoonful of this egg? Dave, let me show you something, right? This is something my dad always loves to do. Oh my god. Yeah. He'll take, the he'll take a long kimchi. Okay. And he will wrap, it. wrap whatever the whatever. Oh, you'll you wrap the egg in the kimchi. Yeah. Okay. This is almost like a bacon egg wrap, but with <laughs> yeah. kimchi. Okay. Mm. We've got a crazy spread for us, and we're just at the beginning. This is round one. You have your panchans, and then what do we have? Please explain to me what I'm looking at. All right, we got some japchae. It's got some beef and vegetables in it. It's usually either sweet potato noodles or it could be, I think, even cellophane noodles. And then we got some fried dumplings, which is very, like, if you haven't ever had Korean cuisine, this is super safe. I didn't know that actually Koreans have their own version yeah. too. Yeah. This is a traditional dish. Um, this has rice cake. I like mine served with cheese and, and ramen yeah. too. Oh my okay. gosh. That, that yeah. But this is, here it's more home style, right? Yeah. This is more the traditional way. Yo, we gotta get to this mini bosan. How do you guys explain it to people? Because it is boiled meat with boiled tofu, and a lot of people are like, Ugh. but it's actually really good. It's healthier that it's boiled too, because you soak out all the fat. I mean, the fat parts are still there, the fatty pieces. It's essentially pork belly. Like, every house, they do they the that. bosan differently. So this is yeah. one whole bite. Hey, okay. hey. We have stepped into the main part of the show. What are we looking at, guys? This is something that may be new to the audience. This is kamjatang. It literally translates as potato soup. The highlight of this like dish is not about the potato. It's about these really chunky pork bones. It's actually really good to maramogo. Maramogo means to like mix in the rice and eat it with the stew. There's two types of Koreans, the ones that maro and the ones that don't. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that will just take their rice and just Dump it right yeah. in the soup, and the ones that don't. I prefer not to. The kamjatang is definitely get that. That is amazing. I think that for me, there's something about potato stews from any culture that I am a huge proponent of. What else we got? We're looking at cheyu. It's not bulgogi. No, bulgogi is, is as compared 
as beef to bulgogi as pork to cheyuk. Here we go. This is the cheyuk. That ended up working out really nice because some people they really just don't like tofu. This this kind of tastes like a drinking food so. to me. Yeah, I think so. This this is your hangover food. This is hamgyetang. Ham means ginseng. Ke means chicken. Tang means soup. Koreans love to eat really hot things on hot days, and they go ironically. Ah. Yes. No, it's true. <laughs> I just ate a juju date. And um, man, that took me back because that is such a traditional flavor in a lot of Asian food. Yeah. Ginseng, dates, such a good combination and so many different cultures use it. That was very good. Mm -hmm. There are two types of people. There's people that will clear out all the bones first and then like eat it comfortably. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And people that will just like eat it as you go. Okay. I would definitely just like sort everything out. Right, you, cause you're not about catching yeah. a bone on yeah, like, it. I will get traditional wings, I will like, Rip them all apart and then eat it with a fork. That's so bougie. We had to get a plate of kalbi. It's people's preferences. Sometimes yeah. they like like just the authentic meat taste, and then there are people who like that like, sweet, savory, gravy like. You've heard of LA kalbi? That does not mean Los Angeles kalbi. This is like a really, really basic fact. <laughs> LA means lateral, which is the type of cut of the meat, and that's what makes it different from regular kalbi. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh? Yeah. I thought it was from LA. Everyone thinks LA is <laughs> Los Angeles. Check this out. Two different kinds of people in the world, all right? You have, look at this, look at this. And then there's me. <laughs> I right. don't eat this. Says a lot about you, to be honest. Uh -huh. My sister used to call me a princess every time, like, eat this, you know? And I'm like, I don't want to. It's very, like, it's hard to chew around the edges. Well, it's cartilage, right? Funny it story, is. funny story. So when we, were, when we were younger, she used to take a Dorito chip and lick it, lick the sauce, and then make me eat the tortilla. <laughs> Man, and I would get in trouble if I didn't That's eat that. Yeah, but he agreed. No. Because I, I said, you want Yu-Gi-Oh cards or right, not? Babe, let's not get into and, the evil things right, she's okay, done. Similar to me. Family. Family is what family does. But a second type of person, actually, they even eat the marrow. And if you didn't, the harmony or like whoever, like the eldest would be like, which means like you didn't even, you don't know how to eat it, you didn't eat it right, because you got to eat it to the bone. Guys, can we gather around right. and just talk about this right now? This is a mushroom jungle. How do you guys say mushroom in Korean? It looks like we got wangsongi. Oyster mushroom. That's okay. Button and also shiitake. Like baby what is cremini. Inoki, which is called pangi butter. Inoki is the Japanese Yo, Your mushroom game is crazy, you know. <laughs> I'm all about the shrooms. The <laughs> I'm all about the shrooms. For you guys, this is your first time having it. Yeah. So this is my first time having it too, so I love uncovering things uh, with people who have never had it, even though they're from that culture. I thought it would taste very veggie-like, but because there was like, it was like simmering in meat, it has a good like meat base too. Like, it doesn't yeah. really taste too much like vegetable soup. Like, you can make all types of mushrooms taste good in one bowl. That's true. Good. And I hate the one. Yeah. She got the sauce. Yeah, she got the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be definitely a, like a, a lot of leftovers. But I love to see, man, I love to see there's so many different flavor profiles that kind of bond Asian yeah. food together. We're nearing the end of the meal, but we have so much food left over. We gotta call in our friend Kevin Kreider. What up, Kev? Up, Good to see you, man. Been a minute. Kev, you came for a nice part because we have to introduce kimchi fried rice. It's my first time seeing a fried rice dish with rice out in the open like this. Usually egg will be covering it. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be covering it. It'll be like a mystery as to what's inside. The shape of a heart. Oh wow. I thought it was a butt. Break my heart. <laughs> you thought it was a butt? I thought it was a booty. <laughs> I mean to booty? them it's a heart, but to me it's a booty. You thought it was the peach emoji? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I love kimchi. I love rice. So combined, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, but not kimchi fried. <laughs> what was your journey like with Korean food, being an adoptee? You didn't know a lot about it. Now it's like everywhere, right? It's everywhere. It's actually so mainstream now. When I was growing up, anything Korean, I just like shunned because it was like people made fun of you for it. Now it's like I remember back in college, a Korean girlfriend wanted me to go to a Korean barbecue place. I was like, ugh, I won't be caught dead there. Give me McDonald's. But then like. <laughs> It's gone on. It's like, yeah, I'll take dates to Korean barbecue. And then you're saying that the, the mainstream American attitude towards Korean food and cuisine and culture has really opened up in the past. Totally, 100%. And so for those out there that um, understand what uh, most of us have gone through, you, know, you just need to really embrace the struggle and uh, be true to who you are. It doesn't even matter if the best guru, like life coach, like Tony Robbins, tell you, well, own it, unleash it. Well, it's like, 
okay, then you gotta go back to your white world, you know, it's like it's not, and it's hard when you're young, so it's like, it's so important to see this, so when you're feeling down in the dumps to keep replaying this video over and over, you're gonna be like, no, right, right. get really good with your identity. So um, I'm involved in a project called The Ugly Model Documentary, and it's about the topics of Asian masculinity and questioning, can Asian men be sexy in the media and culture? And it's obviously yes, yeah, but why do we feel unsexy at times? And why do other people perceive us as unsexy at times? And it really addresses that hardcore. And if you can't donate, then just go to the ugly or uglymodeldoc.com. You can check it out and message anybody and show some support any way you can. Before we say peace, Deb, explain this. What is this? I saw it's I saw Michael part. B. Jordan and Chadwick Boseman doing this Are you for, for Black real? Panther. Yeah. Oh, because they shot in South Korea. So you know, like a lot of people do this. It's like Matt Basic. You gotta do this. It's a heart. Well, this is becoming the new Basic now. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching that episode of Fun Grows Food. We are in New York City, and you guys. Until next time, we're out. Peace. So when you have time, uh, stop by Dofu Dofu. We have a very nice Dofu soup and then a very quiet atmosphere. So maybe you guys really happy for eating at the time. Thank you.